Today, there are two million descendants of French Canadian immigrants living in New England. These are our stories. Welcome to the French Canadian Legacy Podcast. Venez tous jeunes filles et garçons, je vais vous raconter l'histoire de notre immigration ici au USA, de grands aventuriers de pays étrangers. Bonjour everyone, this is Melody with French Canadian News. We'll start with news from the University of Maine at Fort Kent with this post. UMFK Acadian Archives Director publishes new article on Acadian history. In the latest issue of the American Review of Canadian Studies, Dr. Patrick Lacroix shares his research on Canadian-French mobility from the War of American Independence during the rebellions. Dr. Lacroix says, My article lays out the social and economic circumstances for the creation of French-Canadian settlements outside of Quebec and the rise of a hybrid French culture. This is also a reminder to check out this class at the UMFK Acadian Archives titled Acadian History, From Colonization to Reinvention, which will be instructed by Dr. Lacroix, Director of the Acadian Archives. And one more Lacroix story. Check out his commentary in this article published by the Vermont Digger titled, Honoring Vermont's French-Canadian History. I don't want to give too much away, so go check out this history of French-Canadian immigrants in Vermont. There's a new post on the Modern Franco's blog titled, Cultural Costume Trends That You See at French-Canadian Winter Festivals. This is my twist on Les Costumes de Voyageurs, seen at French Canadian Winter Festivals. So check it out for costume inspiration from the past and present, as well as getting costume inspiration for the next Winter Festival. The latest issue of Les Formes has been released, so go check out the latest articles by the French Canadian and Franco American community, from letters to the editor and commentary pieces on our culture. The Franco American Center in Manchester, New Hampshire, has virtual French classes starting up in March. The Franco-American Center in Manchester, New Hampshire has virtual French classes starting up in March. Classes for adults are priced at $375 for FAC members and $410 for non-members. Children's, cla children's, cla children's classes are also available at $150 per child with a sibling discount available. Moving on to podcasts, check out the latest episode of Franco-American Pathways, Episode 7, Ryan Fecto's Vision for Maine. Fecto is a young Franco-American and is Maine Speaker of the House of Representatives. He even made an appearance at the Young Franco-American Summit this past October. Find out more about Ryan Fecto and his vision for his beloved state of Maine. And now on to events. On February 22nd, check out this event en français, Can French Be a Lever for Business Development? This panel will be an opportunity to meet Franco proud and Franco responsible personalities involved in the business world in the Americas. They will share with you the added value of doing business in French in their respective fields and will discuss the economic potential. Previous guest of the FCL podcast, Joseph Dunn, is part of this panel. That's all I've got for you this time. Everything I've covered today will be linked in the French Canadian Legacy podcast episode description. Merci for listening. So this, week, this week's episode is going to be a little bit different than our normal episode. Because finally, we are actually giving an episode to our own Melody Desjardins. When I came back from Quebec, it was brought to my attention that we have not yet interviewed Melody for basically to get her complete story. We have talked about it before, but we've never dedicated an entire interview to kind of what she is up to, how she ended up working for the podcast, the, her amazing blog, you kind of what her hopes are for the future you know, for that blog. So it's, again, it's going to be different. It's not going to be a typical interview. It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be more of a conversation. I'm not going to pretend like I don't know Melody and haven't uh, known her for a couple of years, but it was really, really great to have the opportunity to connect with her and finally give her a full episode. So special episode this week, Fresh Canadian Legacy Podcast, a chat with Melody Desjardins. You have a picture, the first image that you see when you go is a picture of Frontenac, Chateau Frontenac, which is up in Quebec City. I know we've talked about the fact that you've never been to Quebec City. When are you going to remedy that? This is important. As soon as I can. Um, I When I have time to travel up there, I just don't know when that will be. And uh, with certain restrictions and such, I'll just, I, I just prefer to wait till everything calms down. Got until you. I go on a big trip like that. I just don't want to be across the border with these big political things happening. I just want things to calm down first and then I'll figure out a way up there. But yeah, no, I would love to go up to Quebec. I've been to France, funny enough. Uh, I've, been, I've been to France, Paris, 
And that was nice, but I would love to go up to Quebec. And yeah, I chose uh, the Frontec because it seemed to me that that was the monument for Quebec. So France has the, or excuse me, Paris has the Eiffel Tower and Quebec City has Frontex. So that's why yeah. I chose. Yeah, Chateau Front, Frontenac is definitely the image that a lot of, comes to mind for a lot of people when they think about Quebec City. It is very, very cool. It's a pretty sweet hotel. A lot of people, it's funny to talk to Americans who have no idea that it's a hotel. But yeah, <laughs> it's just a, it is a pretty sweet hotel. Yeah, it's I would super, love to go up there. Super expensive. Would, oh. oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I would love to see it though. So that's why I have that up there. So yeah, I forgot how much it, there's so there's like a bottle of I took I took a tour, like behind the scenes tour of that place. And we went into one of their super fancy bars and they had behind glass a I think I believe it was a cognac. Somebody on the tour asked, um, and this was cool because actually it was entirely in French, I understood. Uh, the tour um they asked like how much that bottle was and i think i think she said it was something like 400 500 bucks a shot like yeah it was like that's that's craziness it's just beyond break breaking the bank up there yeah no i'm like no i don't think i'm taking that shot now our fathers look at us and sigh with despair to think that everything they love we simply do not share but the spirit never dies our culture will survive each of us must choose how much to keep alive. Each of us must choose how much to keep alive. Special thanks to Josie Vashon for providing the music. You can find more about her at josievashon.com. This podcast was produced and edited by Mike Campbell. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at fclpodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at fclpodcast for more information about the topics discussed. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes or wherever you listen to this episode.